So it is Monday, May 26, 2014, which means WWDC is right around the corner. So when you think of WWDC, you think of, hey, there's going to be a new iOS, which most likely will show up at WWDC. Uh, this year, however, it was, you know, okay, it's going to be iOS 8 and all these crazy new features, the health book, you know, integrated in with the iWatch, and then that kind of drifted apart and they said, well, you know, the focus is going to be on Mac OS 10.10, .10, which I don't see why they would do 10.10 .10 and not just do Mac OS 11. Give it a cool name. You know, Mavericks, to me, it's just, I, I don't know. That's not, I'm not a fan of it. Put it that way. Um, but now we're even hearing another report that is, is looking like it's pretty strong. Basically saying from the Financial Times that Apple is planning a platform that would turn your iOS devices, including your iPhone, uh, basically into a remote control for everything in this smart home, as they're calling it. So basically turning on things like your lights, your security system, maybe the garage door, uh, any connected appliances, you know, microwave, toaster, uh, TV you can already do. Um, but yeah, I mean, that that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm anxious to see what Apple's going to do with that. Uh, I think it would make things a lot easier. You know, you have one device for uh, basically everything that you uh, need to control in your house, uh, even outside the house, you know. Um, porch lights, things like that. Motion detectors. I think it's really, really, really neat idea, and I'm anxious to see that. Uh, I am a big fan of the iOS 8 health book. Now, we've seen reports and rumors scattered throughout the internet about the Health Book app and how that the iWatch and iOS 8 is going to work seamlessly together, basically, to function on your health. Which, me, I'm an athletic person. I go to the gym. I play various sports. Um, you know, I like stuff like that. I eat healthy. So, with, for me, you know, this year's WWDC, I'm really, really eager to see what iOS 8 and the health book uh, has to do with, uh, you know, further integration into the operating systems of iOS. Now, that may be different from uh, everyone else watching this video, but that's what I want to see. That's what I want to hear, actually, is what you guys are excited for this year's WWDC. Is it the new Mac operating system, whether it's OS 10.10 .10 or OS 11? Uh, is it iOS 8? Is it the iWatch or this new rumor that uh, seems to be pretty strong uh, from the Financial Times saying that, hey, you know, you're going to be able to control everything in your home. You will have a smart home with one smart remote, whether it be your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your iPad, whatever the case may be. So that's what I want to know from you guys. Leave your comments in the description below, in the comments section, I should say, uh, Tell me, what, what excites you about this year's WWDC? Uh, if they do release iOS 8 on beta, I will have a video as soon as I can get that downloaded with my developer account. I'll just go ahead, download it, and I will give you a demo. Not on this guy, because this is my jailbroken device, and I'm not losing that for anything. But uh, yeah, I will have a demo on iOS 8 beta 1 as soon as that gets released. But uh, yeah, guys, leave me some comments. Hope you guys liked the video. If you haven't already, click up top to subscribe. Make sure to share this video with your friends, your fam, your peeps, your neighbors, whoever. Um, and that's it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.